So this is a little uh, tribute to uh, 911R, the czar version. Here we go. Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. Got something pretty cool today. It's a little uh, 1977 MG Midget. It's actually in really nice uh, condition. It's up for sale with, with no reserve on Bring a Trailer. So we just want to do a short walk around uh, for you, just showing you know things operational and stuff, look at the condition of the paint and things. So we'll go ahead with the lights first. You can see the mar marker lights are working, headlights bright lights so we've got turn signals and for fun let's just do the uh, wipers now I really like these with the uh, three blades you know and the marker lights work down the sides and stuff we'll show you the back real fast but you know this car is in pretty nice condition overall you know especially for being British I did put new tires on it put new brake cylinders on the rear it's got disc brakes on the front and we put um, new shoes on the front so we'll just walk around and look at different things you're gonna see all the photos obviously you know the front bumper actually looks really good you can see two little indentions from a couple little screws when the uh, license plate was on there you can see here a little paint touch up You know, not a lot of rock chips on the nose or anything. Actually, everything looks pretty good. I'm gonna pop it up on my lift here in a little bit to give you another look of it underneath. It's actually structurally really good. You can see some little tiny, and it's really hard. I couldn't even get them with the camera. A couple little micro blisters on the hood. If you get it under lights in a shop or something, you can probably see them. I'm trying to get you to be able to see them here. And it's actually really really hard you know the body is really straight when you look down the side it actually looks pretty good I like this with the uh, you know everyone wants the chrome bumpers and stuff but I think MG did a good job with these bumpers integrating the grill and everything into the bumper you know paint it you know black across the bottom you know the black wheels black top I just think it ties together really good and I think they actually did a good job I mean it was just the way things were done you know in the 70s just changes so I think they did a nice job if you look down here looks in good shape no rust down here on the other side there's a couple little bubbles you know across the rockers are really nice you'll be impressed when I put this on my lift and you take a look the windshield is in nice condition overall too there's not any chips or anything in it. You know, the bottoms of the doors are nice. You can see a couple little chips there that have been touched up. Look around the wheel lip. Again, no bubbles or anything. It's just a classy looking car. Top is in really nice condition, except right here and on the other side. You can see they made a couple repairs to it. But the rest of the top is actually really in good condition. It comes with a tonneau cover as well. We'll go around here and I'm going to show you the lights real fast. You can see right here the marker lights, tail lights work, license plates all work. Go in with the brake lights. There's the reverse. And you got brake lights? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the brake lights are on. Got reverse. You got blinkers now. There we go. Got our right. And we got our left. So overall, you know, all the mechanicals on this stuff are pretty much done. It had uh, about $4,100 in 
and receipts of different things. It had a new clutch and everything put in it uh, in 2016. It has a new muffler. You know, just a lot of re repairs, a lot of electrical uh, stuff. So it's actually pretty dialed in now. We'll go ahead and look at the bottom here behind the wheel. Looks good. No bubbles around the wheel lips or anything like that. When I have it on my lift, I'll show you all the original spot welds. You can see them and everything. Right here, you're gonna see a couple little bubbles right here at the bottom of the uh, of the cowl, and one little kind of a little bondo crack there, and you'll see a little light indention right here. I think this door came open and the strap wasn't on it, and it it hit right here and just made a little crease. There's not a crease in the metal, just made an indention in the paint. You can see that. This is where a video actually really helps if you're planning on selling a car, bring a trailer anywhere. Uh, it's nice to do a little video, show different things. You can see one little tiny light, little scratch right there. And there's a little tiny bubble right there, but the rest looks pretty good. Chrome looks good. You can see a couple little crackings on the rubber right here. And I think we'll just double check on the other side. I'm gonna open the doors. Yeah, you can see a couple little crackings there. We're gonna head to open the doors now and we'll take a look inside, take a look underneath the hood and trunk and everything. So nice little car. Okay, here we're gonna take a look at the interior real fast. I just want to show you how nice the door shut. You can see the channel gap is actually really good on the car. We'll go ahead and take a look inside. The seats actually look really nice. And I think they're they're original. I don't think they're they have been replaced. The only two areas, which I'll show you from the other side, there's a little tape on the edge here, and on the other side there's a little split on the headliner. You know the VIN number is attached, and it does match up here underneath the hood. You can see the door jams are all intact, look in good condition door panels look good I did take pictures of up underneath here underneath the doors if you look inside this jam there were some questions uh, about this area right here and that that is solid metal there there's not a, a hole there or anything I know it looked like that in the photo but this is very solid there the paint is a little bit loose back behind it Someone had mentioned, you know, could I scrape this all off and paint it in there? I mean, I guess I could, but I didn't really want to alter it the way it was from the photos. Uh, but it's, it is actually very solid, though I just knocked off a little paint uh, there by showing that. But uh, anyways, it does look good there, and but that does need to be scraped off and, and repainted in there. Look at the steering wheel looks good. The dash is in nice shape. All the gauges are working. You know, it's actually in pretty pretty nice condition. So we'll go ahead and show you the other side. Here we are on the passenger side. Just wanted to show you again the, the gaps are in nice shape. Door shuts nice. You know, the dash pad's in good condition. You can, right there is where you can see that little tape. I was talking about on the seat and if I look maybe you can see it back here there's a little little tiny split right there where my finger is you've seen those on the photos if you look here the door panel looks good look inside the jam it looks in nice nice condition overall you know so you can see there the little map lights working so hopefully that gives you a little bit of a better look of the interior you know just in the life of you windows roll up and down nice too
Today we're going to take a look underneath the hood here real fast. I already popped it up. It was hard for me to do it with one hand, but after you uh, let go of the latch underneath the, the dash, you just have to push this in, reach your hand underneath here, and it'll flip up, and it's got a locking uh, prop rod there. But anyways, it's got a 1500 in it. It actually runs really, really good. Go ahead and fire it up real fast. It sounds, it actually sounds really nice. It's got a Zenith or a Weber carburetor. It's been upgraded with a Weber and intake. I've got the original Zenith and exhaust or a, a manifold, but I don't have the exhaust manifold. It has a header on it now, but it comes with the air cleaner and everything. You'll see the pictures in the auction of the items that are included. You know. Mechanically, it runs really, really good. We did put a oil pan gasket on it. We'll go ahead and uh, rev it up just a little bit here. You know, it sounds really good. It actually scoots, scoots pretty good. You're gonna see all the receipts of all the work that has been done on it in general, so, except the things that, that we had done to it that I was already mentioned, so. Uh, I just wanted to show you up here, no signs of any accident actually really clean in the towel and everything and that's one of the most important things just to look at in general i'm going to put it up on my list like i said earlier and you'll see a lot of uh how, how nice the structure is and everything so anyways we'll take a look at some more stuff so here's the trunk this is the, uh, the boot that you see in the photos. This is the uh, top cover. You can see the trunk area is actually in really nice condition. I'm not going to take the spare tire out uh, right now, but you'll, you'll see it in the photos. It looks, looks nice. You can look back behind here. There's no signs of accidents. Tail light panel in really good condition overall you can see that light is working there too and there's not any rust up underneath the lip so nice little trunk Thanks for cruising around with us in the uh, little MG. We'll uh, stop here and show you a couple different things. Just wanted to show you the first thing real quick. The radio, it does work. And I showed you earlier the uh, map light was working. Actually, I haven't tested that, but I don't smoke. And when we were driving a minute ago, I was showing you the uh, speedometer, tack and all that's working fuel gauge works you can see the uh, oil pressure it's reading about 40 temp gauge works go ahead and show us the uh, blinkers they're a little slow but you'll see it uh, come on right there it's blinking I'll show you this side I guess we could have hit the hazard lights too you can see they're both blinking with the hazard lights also the uh, brake light works you can see it go on and off and then this one here is for the uh, bright lights. We'll turn the lights on. And you can see that is actually lighting up. Actually, the cigarette lighter does work. And even the little light in there is working. So we'll go ahead and uh, cruise it around a little bit more and uh, show you some more stuff. Can't remember if we showed you the horn. <laughs> yeah, it works.
So here we are, we're going to take a look at the MG underneath. We'll just start from the front to the back. You know, anytime I went, I go and look at a classic car in general, you know, everything can look pretty on the outside, but the first thing I do, actually the second, first I'm looking at it, the second thing is I'm going to hop underneath, probably within five minutes, look at the structure, look at different things, you know, about it in general accidents and stuff. So anyways, this car is actually really, really clean overall so we'll just start uh, from the front to the back I haven't seen any accidents or anything on it there hasn't been any crinkles or anything up here in there in the inner aprons you can see here a little tiny dented up there but really not a big deal you can't see that underneath if you look at the underneath of the car it actually looks really clean very very nice in general you can see the floors are in excellent condition you know there's not any rust through you can see a little bit of there that flaked off just a little bit but this is the uh, factory floor but you can see a little bit of flaking on some of the undercoating and this is actually a factory undercoating it looks like to me possibly dealer but you know everything actually looks really really clean overall you can see this floor looks nice you can see the original Pinch welds up here look really good. We'll just come back up to the front. It does have uh, disc brakes up front and drums in the back. We put new pads on the uh, front and new wheel cylinders on the back. And the brake shoes in the rear look really, really good. You can see this boot here isn't torn. It, it feels really pliable on both sides. So well, that's nice. You know, it was kind of funny when I was looking at the tires. I didn't ever notice it until today. And it was because I was looking at the, for the date around the tire. So we came in here on the inside. And I saw, you know, 116. You can see here. And I was thinking they were 2016. And I thought, I don't know that code, I thought it should have four on it. These tires are actually from 1996. You can see 116. The 11 was the, the week in that year, and then the six. 2000 early, earlier tires uh, just show the uh, three codes, but six is for 96. Then I thought, man, that's pretty amazing. And then we started noticing little tiny cracks uh, here on, on all the tires actually and it's it's crazy because they look so nice so we're going to put new tires on it that's something i hadn't planned on doing but we're going to go ahead and do that for the next owner then one nice thing though about this you know you always got to think of some positives <clears throat> look how nice the wear is on the tires so that is the one bonus it's not like i put brand new tires on it and you didn't know if there was a uh, front end issues or anything like that so this is actually worn pretty good on the car so you know I think the front end is pretty tight the exhaust looks good you know overall it's all welded and also when I got it I showed you those receipts earlier there was a lot of mechanical receipts uh, done new clutch everything and it had a new oil pan gasket well the car had sat for about a year we drove it home and it started leaking out the front of the oil pan so we replaced the oil pan gasket in it as well we'll just uh, take a look back here real quick it's got a new gas tank in it you can again see all the original spot welds look really good no accidents in the back or anything like that trunk drop-offs looking nice condition as well you can see it here so for an English car or just generally for a classic car I mean this is really really solid and very impressive so anyways we'll get it down from the lift here we'll get the tires put on it we'll update that on the auction for you and if you got any questions or anything like that give me a jingle be uh, glad to help and make comments and it is no reserve <laughs>